Hi, this is your host Sobhin Bhartia and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Nikhil Nandagopal, co-founder and head of product at AppSmith. Nikhil, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, hey, it's uh, great to be here. Thank you for, uh, having, for having us. Yeah, and uh, the fact is that we have covered AppSmith earlier. So our you know audience, they do know about uh, the company. But since you are here on the show, I would love to hear from you. What do you folks do? AppSmith is an open source platform for engineers to be able to build internal tools. Um, we make it really easy for developers uh, to build internal tools in record time, as well as to be able to deploy and manage these internal tools. And one of the reasons that we are here today is that you folks recently announced the availability of pre-built application templates. So let's talk about it a bit. Uh, tell us you know, what it is and what is the importance of it. What we've noticed is that there are so many different business use cases out there uh, to build these applications. But unfortunately, more often than not, it's a backend engineer with very little knowledge of HTML and CSS that is tasked with building these internal tools. Now, you know, before you build an application, before you write even like the first line of code, there are two daunting problems facing you. The first being that, what are all the features and requirements that need to go into this application, right? And the second being that, how do I make this application really, really easy for my end users? And both these problems need to be addressed now by a backend engineer who's not really that great with HTML, CSS, and is probably building applications for the first time ever. Now, what templates does is, it gives them a really great starting point because it helps them imagine what do these applications look like, as well as helps them understand what are the requirements these applications need. If you're building a customer support dashboard, you'll quickly understand that you need to handle refund flows and payment logic, as well as you need to make it really easy for your users to be able to go through the entire database, search for order history, be able to paginate through multiple records, I mean, millions of records, and be able to initiate refunds all in a single dashboard. So templates gives you a really great starting point, helps you address what are some of the core features you'll require, as well as helps you make these tools really, really look good. And that's a lifesaver for backend engineers. Can you share with us what are some of the most exciting use case templates in the library? My hands down favorite one is the customer support dashboard, uh, because I think it's, uh, if you're any startup out there in the world, if you have users, if you're, uh, you know, collecting payments, you absolutely need a customer support dashboard. So uh, the customer support dashboard helps you talk to, you know, Freshdesk where all of your ticketing information is there. It helps you talk to your own database that has order information, as well as it helps you talk to Stripe that has payment information. And it helps your support team really quickly service all your customer requests. Uh, some of the other tools are things like uh, what your marketing function could possibly need to communicate with all your users. Uh, you might need a tool that can send emails to your users to collect feedback. Uh, you may need to inform them of upcoming product releases, and you may just want to touch base with them to let them know, uh, you know how things are going. Uh, you also have tools uh, for founders, such as managing your cap table or uh, you know, for, or uh, you know, dealing with fundraising. We have a fundraising CRM that will actually help you manage your investor relationships uh, if you're looking to close around soon. Uh, and all of this is there on the platform, and that's kind of how we built uh, all the new templates uh, on AppSmith. Talk about the role that AppSmith is playing in in helping companies quickly bring their services, their products to the market without having to worry about writing all the code and getting everything in place. We are seeing a lot of adoption, a lot of you know, companies are embracing low code, no code. So talk about that. Right, absolutely. So the way we think about it is that most applications are just a bunch of different building blocks that need to be assembled and configured so that your applications can come to life, right? And the hardest part is actually finding the right building block and being able to configure it in a way that makes sense for your business logic. So how AppSmith tackles this is that we make sure that the hardest part, which is building the UI, is extremely simple by giving you over 40 different widgets out of the box. So you can drag and drop these widgets onto the screen and quickly build any UI that you'd like without needing to understand even a bit of HTML, CSS. What we also do is we give you the building blocks to talk to your data. Today, in a world that has so many different SaaS applications and databases, our data is fragmented today. And AppSmith allows you to talk to all your different data sources in a single dashboard. So it makes it really easy for you to interact with your data. And once you have all these building blocks, your data and your UI all in the same place, 
it then provides you with the magic of JavaScript. So you can then assemble these building blocks any way you'd like. You can say that, hey, this widget or this building block should show up only when this data is present. Or you can say that if this data is a certain threshold, I want to configure this building block to maybe uh, show it red because it's uh, it should alert the user of some information. So that's kind of how AppSmith thinks about uh, building blocks and applications to make it really easy. And the best part is that we take away the headache of the underlying infrastructure as well. So you don't have to worry about building and hosting these applications. So with the click of a button, you can deploy these applications to your cloud. Uh, you can share them with your users. You don't have to worry about the repetitive tasks such as creating access controls and authentication mechanisms because the platform comes with all of that out of the box. You just need to figure out how do you want to assemble these building blocks to make them custom for you. Now I know go back to uh, the template. You're talking about, you know, th there are, you know, use case based templates. Sometimes companies, you they do want to customize them. You know, having a template that gives you them a framework or you know kind of blueprint to work on is good. But how customizable are these? Oh yeah, absolutely. So the best part of AppSmith is that we make sure that you can go down to the most granular building block of every single application and change them the way that suits you. So these templates aren't one size fit all. Instead, they're more directional in nature to help you understand that if you're a customer support agent, these are the different types of building blocks you probably need. And then it allows you to take apart these different building blocks, allows you to make, make customizations to them. You can change the styles, uh, you can change the business logic in them, uh, you can change even the data source that they're reading to so that you're not using the out of the box data source, but you're reading directly from your own data. So all of that is highly customizable inside the platform. As I was saying earlier, we cover AppSmith regularly. So whenever something new happens, we will have you folks on the show. But if you can share with us what's new, what are the other things that are in the pipeline that you folks are working on? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're always really excited to keep uh, pushing the boundaries uh, of the developer experience. And, uh, you know, uh, right now uh, we're launching a Git Sync feature uh, because we've seen that today low code, no code tools sit kind of outside the entire developer software le development lifecycle, right? But we think that that story has to change. Uh, we want to make it really easy for engineering teams to adopt AppSmith and make it fit right inside the same lifecycle that all their applications go through. So you're going to be able to sync your applications to any Git repository, uh, create the same CI CD workflows, raise pull requests, do code reviews, uh, have approval workflows on, run on top of those, all of that uh, directly from inside the interface. So that's a really, really exciting project that uh, we currently have going on. Uh, the second really exciting project uh, that we're working on internally is uh, around the entire themification of applications. Uh, we know that today internal tools all unfortunately are treated as second class citizens inside companies and they know they never look as good as your real consumer facing bottles. But we think that that story has to change as well. We want to make internal tools look as great as the best SaaS products. So we're enabling all of our users to theme their applications and make them look fantastic with just a few clicks of a button. Uh, and that's a, that's a really, really exciting value proposition for most of our developers who don't really, uh, you know, have great HTML, CSS knowledge, who, uh, you know, dislike dealing with UI, UX. The tool, the tool kind of does all of this for you. So that's, that's going to be really exciting for them. Uh, and the third uh, really uh, exciting feature we're working on is uh, around role-based access controls. It's, it's such a popular community requested feature. Uh, it's come directly from our community for a really long time. And as we've kind of grown and we have larger organizations using us, uh, we want to give people the power to dictate uh, who has access to which resources inside the application to uh, increase the power security that they have. Uh, and that, that's a very really, uh, exciting feature that uh, we're also working on right now. Uh, well, yeah, introducing uh, templates uh, to the entire developer community. Um, so we have all these templates showcased on AppSmith.com itself. And one of the reasons we did this is because we realized that a lot of developers wanted to come and browse through what is possible inside AppSmith, right? So you can actually look through all of our templates over here and they're all sorted by different use cases and functions. So whether you're part of the support team, the finance team, the sales team, uh, we're gonna have a template for you and we're gonna add, keep expanding this list uh, in the coming days. Uh, so right now, here are some of the top templates uh, that we've been focusing on. The first is a marketing portal. So what this marketing portal kind of helps you do is it allows you to communicate with all of your users. And the really cool thing about AppSmith templates is that you don't need to be an AppSmith user or even sign up uh, on the platform to experience our templates. You can simply go to AppSmith.com and you can see how this application works. 
So for example, over here, we have various marketing lists configured for our users. And here I have a beta tester list, which contains all of my customers. I can also go ahead and edit my user list to add a new customer, for example, to the user list, as well as go ahead and modify existing customer details. So for example, maybe Coke's email bump the last time, and I need to update that over here. It's really easy to do that with just a click of a button. We can see that Courtney's details are updated. And once we've done that, we can then go ahead and communicate with everybody inside this beta test list. So we see that there are 16 users who are our beta testers. And we probably want to go ahead and send them an email. So we can do something like say, hey, we have a new feature for templates released. Check it out, right? And then we can now push this across different channels. We can send an email saying um, features, as well as we can push it on Discord, right? Because a lot of times you have multiple channels that you want to communicate with your users on. And this template allows you to talk to all of them from a single dashboard. This is a lifesaver for a lot of marketing, for a lot of early stage marketing teams uh, that don't want to go through the hassle of dealing with the HubSpot and Active Campaign. So that's that's our first uh, really exciting template. Uh, the second one that I'll talk about, uh, which is below here, is our customer support dashboard. So the customer support dashboard is uh, really used by a lot of uh, support teams to look up all of the user information, look up all of their orders, and then be able to refund them. Uh, it also gives them uh, a lot of high level statistics about how many users are currently in their system, uh, what are the number of orders that they're getting, uh, also what is their refund rate and their on time delivery rate, right? So this is really important for a lot of e-commerce and uh, a lot of food delivery companies. And here it's really easy to look through the entire customer list. Uh, you can drill down into customer information, um, also edit their order information, such as maybe your delivery status is on time, but maybe it was incorrectly marked by the delivery agent and you want to update this to deliver it. You can very easily do that inside this dashboard. And this is one of the most common use cases that we see because every single company in the world has to talk to their users and has to service their users really, really well. Support is a pillar of any company. So the customer support dashboard becomes a pillar within that company. And we, and we have all these different templates that you can easily customize inside AppSmith as well. It's not just about being able to see and uh, check out these templates, but these templates live directly within the product as well. So all of those templates can be viewed directly over here. For example, the another one of the templates that I really enjoy is the applicant tracker. Now, most early stage companies uh, have a lot of hiring going on. Right, uh, engineers spend a good chunk of their time hiring new candidates, but the interview process can be quite chaotic. And you don't really want to invest in a, a very full-fledged applicant tracker in the early days, but this template allows you to go ahead and streamline all of your interview processes with just a few clicks. So I'll give you an example over here. You can check out this template uh, inside the platform. And using this template is as simple as clicking on the fork button. You can choose the organization you want to fork it to, I'm going to use the demo order. And hitting fork will immediately create a copy of that template directly for me to use over here. And just like that, I have a full-fledged working applicant tracker right inside my organization. I can then even go ahead and make certain changes to the entire template. For example, you were talking about how easy is it to actually modify these templates, right? So Apple makes it very, very easy, in fact. For example, we might want to color these roles separately. So let's go ahead and configure the applied row, uh, the applied, applied role inside the table. We can then change the, let's say, text color to JavaScript. And we can do something like saying that if the current row dot, um, let's say the applied role is equal to software engineer. Then let's make it red. And maybe they are really important and every other uh, kind of role we can go ahead and maybe add it as blue.
right? And just like that over here, we can see that all of these are uh, colored based on uh, the condition that I've just written. Um, have I made any mistakes somewhere? Maybe the data isn't software engineered directly. It might be slightly different. Okay, there might be a slight mishap in the data over there, but lastly, it makes it very easy for you to actually configure um, you know, the application that you fork so that it now works for your workflow rather than uh, having to use something out of the box. You can also change different widgets, such as maybe I want to add a new text widget on the screen. It's really easy to just drag that over here. I might want to add some information, maybe saying that this is the date. And I can also change the styles over here. So modifying templates is really easy as well. And with the click of a button, you can deploy this application now and make it ready for use inside your own organization. Wonderful. So just like that, we have an application working over here. And we can also go ahead and, for example, create a new application. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new applicant, maybe called John. I'll add a dummy phone number for John right now. Let's create an absolute email for him. Select a role. We can pick a resume for John as well. So this template even allows you to work with different data sources. So right now it's uploading the file to S3 as well as being able to create this applicant uh, inside our current database. And if we go back to track our applicants, we will see that John got created over here and his uh, resume is there. And we can also go ahead and change uh, you know, his status as well as schedule different interviews for him. So it makes it really easy to take a out of the box tool fork it into your organization, start modifying it for your custom need, and then begin to use it for your own internal processes. And at the best part is you hardly have to think about how do I uh, uh, structure the UI or the UX of this application. Uh, with just a few clicks, you can get a really great looking application, even if you don't have those skills. Nikhil, thank you so much for joining us today. And of course, uh, talk about this new template uh, also, uh sharing the kind of roadmap uh, or the future plans for AppSmith and also sharing this demo with us. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sophie. It was great to be here.